Let's start with a new file method. Our implementation of this method will unconditionally clear the text box. It will, however, give the user one last chance to save the document. To determine if there's anything to save, we'll use the modified property of the text box. This flag is automatically set to true when the user types into the text box. If the content has been modified, we'll display a message box asking the user if he wants to save the document, and if the answer is yes, we'll call the save file method. Note that we don't have to reset the modified property to false because programmatically changing the text box does this on its own. Next, there's the open file method. We'll begin by clearing the current text box with a call to new file. To create the open file dialog box, we'll switch over to design view and add one to our application. In its properties, we'll rename it to dopen and clear the default name field. Switching back to code view, we can now display it. We'll include it in an if statement to check if the user cancels the dialog. If we get this far, we can now try to open a file using the stream reader class. Since this class is part of the system IO namespace, we'll go ahead and add that to our using directives. If the file opens successfully, we'll read all of the content into the text field, which will also reset the modified flag. On the other hand, if the read fails, for any reason, we'll display an error message. In either case, we'll end by closing the stream.